All right, so we're trying to finish up the crane, which is pretty close. We even got our cab. It's all nice. One of the things I didn't think about at all when I did up the crane and I filled all the windows with glass was that on this type, you have these knobs that you stick in through the window to turn it. It'll raise and lower the boom. However, this crane does not have hooks that lower. They just don't. There are two windlasses in there, and either I'm missing a hook, or there just isn't one. I'm not exactly sure. But since the hooks don't lower, the, the one hook just snaps in right here. This one looks like it could lower, and there's a windlass for it, but there was never a hook there. Well, before I do that, so I want to show you. Okay, so let's see. What do we call this part right here? Let's, let me look at the diagram quick. It is called the boom arm. The boom arm. All right, so the boom arm is essential for rigging this thing. I'll tell you what. Finding rigging diagrams for cranes is a lot harder than you think. The only one that that um, is easy to find is the Atherin one. But that one has has a lot more stuff than this has. And hey, this is a mono crane. Um, I think we'll set it up about transport height. And we won't really worry about it. Just like we didn't we didn't put any lights or anything fancy in there. So we won't really worry about that. We're just going to um, Rig it, set it, and then, and then we'll we'll just basically leave it that way. And if we ever really want to, we'll be able to take this top cover off, which comes off really easy, and go in there and we can just turn it with our fingers. Okay, but now I've got this the boom arm here, and it's in brown rust oleum camouflage. And so what I got now is I got some graphite. I got my little glass dish here and I make a brush. And I want to take this. I've done a little bit, but I want to take this and I want to give it kind of a steel look. So let's take a look at that. See if we can get you guys up here. Okay, so I'm gonna take, if you can see good enough, I'm gonna take this graphite. And that graphite is going to give this a very good steel look. Now, it may be that in reality this thing could be rusty or who knows what. But we're going to make it look a little bit steel. Basically, this crane is almost like a piece of scenery. I don't see that it's going to be run around a lot other than we are going to run a route clearance train which will consist of a couple of cranes with kind of a locomotive in the middle probably have a crane on each end a locomotive in the middle and then a couple of flat power flat cars which according to the to the operating instructions Flat cars are needed to provide braking power to cranes. And when they travel, the boom is supposed to be facing to the rear. That's what my that's what my rule rule book says from from way back. But anyways, okay, so this guy goes in here somewhere. I think it's right there. And I think the windlass goes back here. There is another windlass that goes in here. But I don't have a hook for it, so I'll just put the windlass in there, and then we'll figure that out later. But otherwise, we're going to be something like this. Let's see if we can't. Let's just get them a little in place. And to give me enough of an idea of what we're looking at here, this is how this, is how this guy turned out. And he looks pretty good. He actually looks really good. I really do like the way this crane turned out. Mostly, piece of scenery. 
but it's the uh, blue turned out nice. They're going to have to be probably just one or two more like this. And I think we got it. I'll rig them all up and we'll do a final reveal a little later.